The Christmas Story. Joseph, I can't keep looking. He's coming. Is in many ways. Eddie, are you seeing this? It's time. A return to the roots of the Chosen series. My soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Remember what your messenger said. The first thing. Don't be afraid. That Jesus Christ is... People must know. That little short film I did for my church's Christmas Eve service um, and my friend's farm in Illinois uh, is ultimately what launched this entire thing. It's what generated the crowdfund record and it um, it, it really took us into the stratosphere um, and it started with such humble beginnings. And what's so great about that is that that's the story of Jesus. I'm not comparing The Chosen to Jesus, of course, but it is a show about Jesus and, the sh and, and Jesus' story started with such humble beginnings. And it's, I, I love the story so much. Uh, it's my favorite time of year. I know that's a cliche, but it's true. Dallas Jenkins is the creator, director, and writer of the most successful crowdfunded series and he invited us to the set in Utah as they wrap production of the Christmas movie. I said, go, tell it on the mountain. Which includes performances from the biggest names in the music industry, like Zach Williams, Jordan Feliz, Phil Wickham, and Maverick City Music. What is it like singing Christmas music at a place that likely looks like what it looked like when Jesus was born? It's kind of surreal, like watching like the Bible like really come to life and the things that you see. It's like you see, you hear about it and you kind of imagine it, but actually like laying your eyes on something is a different thing. It's like watching it really come alive. That's it's really different, like really, really different in the best ways though. Do you approach singing Christmas music any different than you approach singing your worship? I'm gonna say a little bit yes. Um, I think, but I think it's the same about the resurrection. I think there's like a different. Um, joy I think that comes from that but um, singing Christmas music and remembering that God made this choice to send a savior into the world in such a humble way to me it's just heartwarming it's something that's a little more precious and delicate um, and I think approaching the music it I approach it a little differently if I'm if I'm completely honest it's just like man why would you do this for us um, but it's remembering that God loves us so much it actually made me think for just one moment is this really the Son of God? And Joseph later told me he briefly thought the same thing. But we knew he was. A humble story. <laughs> that delivers an overwhelming joy to the world. What's this series meant to you personally? Sometimes, even for myself, these stories and these verses you say over and over again, or you go to church and hear, and you hear about the prodigal son, you hear about the cross, you hear about Easter, and you, you see the nativity set up on your grandma's counter at Christmas. And sometimes in our minds, if we don't let it happen, these sacred things uh, can become akin to Aslan and Frodo. They're like there's just these stories that are about something, but they're stories. You know, I'm, I'm almost sometimes we categorize these stories in the wrong place. And, and this, this, uh, this TV series helps me categorize it in a place of, of from just allegory and metaphor and making, not that I want to be there or I've ever thought that, but sometimes I think, sometimes I put it there on accident to of like Jesus took on humanity and was really Emmanuel, God with us and to real people. Oh!